Hai teh. Oh ya. Hope you all having a nice weekend. Or having a nice weekend. Wherever you may be. Hi. Yes, I I wasn't on doing any live Saturday because as I said before I had my grandkids every fortnight on the weekend so i don't do lives i might just pop on when they're having a quiet time or when they're eating and just check and post certain things on either twitter facebook or instagram that's why i say follow me on them so then you'll always be updated Anyway, so tonight we're covering three cases. We're looking at three cases. All right, and the first one is Sebastian Rogers. And there's been a lot of speculation about this case, a lot speculation right and we don't know what is true all we know are the facts which are he went missing can't remember the date now three weeks ago three weeks three weeks ago now and apparently he just got up left his house Walked out the house barefoot, not even a coat or sweatshirt, just a long sleeve. Because the parents did say sweatshirt first, but then in one interview they said they just had a long sleeve top on and like pyjama bottoms on. So he's walked out the house in some very thin clothing, and it isn't that warm at night. I'm glad it was that warm that night where he lives. And apparently they had no dog scent, the dogs wasn't picking up on anything, and they had no video evidence. And everyone's scratching their heads thinking, how on earth? I've been, I've been on Google Maps and I've gone around that area on Google Maps, I'm thinking, he even knows where all their video cameras are. And he's managed to bypass them all, you know what I mean? Because how on earth would they not catch someone leaving that that area? Because in all senses, you're not going to spend a lot of money on a house and not have some sort of security on it, like home security, home video security, um, ring door bounds, all that lot. You're not going to do it, not in today's society. Anyway, so we're all scratching our heads for about two weeks. And all of a sudden, was it last week? Yes. Comes out, first of all, first of all, it comes out that there was one dog that picked up his scent. But they lost it at the opening, like the entranceway, to the construction site. Now, I've got a video here, and it's very good. And you'll see it first time, well, you'll see it as they're driving through this gate in a minute. And um, so I thought, okay, so he's got to have lost it. And I found on Google Maps on here, and I was saying, he's got to be this area here, between here and the lost ascent here by this entrance. But I found out there's another entrance to that construction site. And you'll see it. If you haven't already seen the video. Anyway. So that came out. Well, hold on. He told us there's no scent from any dogs. And now you're telling us one dog picked up a scent. And then last week. 
Mick Bears is a tease. He put out a 10 second, 10 second clip of this video of from a home security video. Right? And all it showed was like some uh, security lights that was coming on, that was on. And it looked like two flashlights. Right, that well, one was standing still and one was walking towards it. That was it. And I said, Come on, Miss Bearers, you've got more than that. You've got more than 10 seconds. And then finally, come out of the one minute summit. Still didn't show us much, anything else. So, I don't know what, what I can do with that video. I really don't. Apart from all it says is at round about three o'clock that morning. There was two people in what they call the common area of around their houses. And these two people had like a spotlight, a torch. And one torch kept going on and off. Or was being obstructed by something. I thought, okay, that's all that tells you. But being as you said, they had no video camera, video proof of anything. It says they don't tell us everything, not everything. And I can't understand that. If they're trying to build the case, it's best. And when they say they're doing an investigation side of it, it's everyone knows it's criminal. They're looking for a criminal investigation. Right? Because they want to know that by doing an uh, investigation, they can go deeper. They can then get. Um, more photograph evidence of the house, inside, outside, the layout of the house, everything. And I've seen pictures of the layout of the house. And it is true, to get to Sebastian's room, they have to go past their kitchen. Now, if the mother said, oh, when he wasn't in his room, I thought he might be in the kitchen doing breakfast. Would she not have seen him in the room, in the kitchen, doing breakfast? So, there's a bit of a red flag there. Because surely you'd have heard him popping about in the kitchen or something. You know what I mean? You'd just seen him. Because you have to walk past the kitchen to get to his room. From his room, their room, to his room. Anyway, so there we are. We've got one scent dog that picked up on the scent but dropped it, lost it by the entrance to the construction site, and one very vague video of the, on the night time. Right. There's areas on Google Maps I can't get to. I just can't do it because when Google Maps people have gone round in their van or their car, right? There was no, there was just starting to build on this site. So all they had was like, um, all they could put in there was like the out of the roads. There's a few houses and that was it. It was still a construction site. So they couldn't go round there. Because there's hardly any houses really. But this video and shows you the area of where they lived. And to be honest with you, it gives you a better perspective. You can see more of where they lived and how it all works. Right? But the reason of an entrance to the construction site. And it's on the road. As you turn to go towards the road where Sebastian lives, you, you're driving along. You carry on that road. It's right at the top. There. So is that the entrance where, where the dog lost the scent? Makes more sense because you... You know what I mean? And I 
five time in the morning, not many people are awake, are they? But it still comes back to me, what would make a 15-year-old lad? If he's going to run away from home, right? Put yourself in your shoes. You're going to run away from home. You're packing up. Your parents won't let you go on the internet. You've got no friends. You've got no, no interaction with anyone. Right? And your mum and your stepdad won't let you have internet, won't let you do nothing. So you, you start and say, right, well, I've had enough. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go and live with my dad. I've had enough. I can't wait no longer. Because apparently he was going to live with his dad when the summer started, when they broke up for the summer. And I thought, oh, perhaps that's what he did. He perhaps he did try and walk to his dad's. Right? But when the dogs, when it come back that the dogs, there's had no scent of him anywhere, I'm thinking, but how on earth did he get out of that house if it didn't have a scent, no smell? Everyone leaves a, a scent. Right? Everyone does. So I thought, there's no way he left that house then. Not walking anywhere. But then they throw that thinking about, oh, why one dog did pick up a scent? Oh, thanks. You've got also a thinking, he didn't leave that house. Right? So, oh, what am I saying? So we're going to have a look at this video first. I was going to just let it run without the voices on. But I'm not doing a lot of talking anyway. They said that. They said that as a driving, they're not doing a lot of talking. Hi there, MG. You're not late. I had a very tiring weekend. <laughs> I had my grandson Friday night. Then Saturday afternoon, I met up and I took my granddaughter for the night. So Saturday night, I had both my grandkids here. <laughs> And, it's, and today it's just been chaotic. I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> but I love having them. Anyway, so we're going to watch this video. I don't know if you've seen this video, MG, where um, two people have gone in the car and they've actually drove around the area. I know. I know. I'd just like to say, they're not in here. There's no something eating on. Oh, there's only giving eating on. I've got 28, but they're on uh, Twitter. Anyway, so I tell it, say to my daughter, and I said, on Friday when I closed up for the weekend, I said, I had like 19. I said, and they, I went on Saturday, just checking, just checking in. Not doing a live or anything. I said, I'm going to notice something up to 30. No, 28. Then I checked this morning. I've noticed something up to 30. Come back this afternoon. I've gone up to 32. So, yeah. Yes, 13, yeah. So I, I'm working up there. I'm getting out. I'm still baby steps. How did your weekend go? Tell me it was a lot quieter than mine. Yes. Yes, I saw, that's the one I'm on about, I think. Yeah. I think this is the one I'm on, you're on about, yeah. Where they drove around the houses and then they went up onto the construction site and they saw Seth there. And... Um, Anyway, so we're going to look at this video because, as I said, it can it shows you in better detail if you see it through your own eyes rather than going on Google Maps. And I'm so pleased they did this. They even did one for the evening. Right? And really, the evening one, it just shows you how dark it is between the houses. Yeah. I know. It's a shame for Seth. I feel really bad. Right, but people are saying perhaps they've just got him hidden somewhere because they're adamantly going to walk through that door again. 
not me. But then if he do, if he does show up and they had anything to do, but he's gonna say so, isn't he? I'd, I'd like to think we can find him and find him alive because I'd like to know what made him, what would make an autistic flag of 15 walk out the house. Perhaps he did think he was only going out for a few minutes. Perhaps he heard something out there and thought, oh, I'll just grab a torch and go out and see what's going on. You know what I mean? You don't you know. So, and then when he's got out there, he realised who it was. And he's just gone walking, but he's got no shoes on. So if they have got anything to do with me, what did I, I miss that? I've, I've been trying to find out about that. The TBR make come apparently it wasn't supposed to have been released or something like that. I've been looking for it everywhere, and I've looked on the TBR site, everything, nothing. Well, not that I could see. Anyway, so, as I said, we're going to look at this video. I'll get there in a minute. Hang in there, everyone. I'll get there. I like to keep you all in suspense. But where I thought those lights were, isn't. It is at the back of the house. In what they call the common area where it don't belong to anyone sort of thing oh he's still cooking a St. Patrick's Day dinner all oh, right I think uh, Nick Ferris is holding back on some Because, to me, that doesn't seem like a lag going down. Because not only that, it's in the area by the garages, the back of the area, the back area by the garages, right? The dogs didn't pick no scent up there. They all lost their scent there. I don't know if that one dog picked up his scent from there. But all the other dogs pick, didn't pick no scent up. But I'd like to know the truth. And I think now they've got to start putting some pressure down. Because TBR, in my eyes, can be a bit... I'm from the UK, so I don't really want to put anyone down. But I'm just going on the one case on the one case of a missing child that I know of, where I oh, will do everything to find this little girl, and they haven't. Even the police don't even want to know. They're not looking, they're not even looking into it anymore. So, I just hope they don't do the same with this lad, because he needs to be found one way or the other. So, so please everyone on Twitter, thank you for being here, but please come over to my YouTube channel and sign up, because then you can join in on the conversations we have. You can uh, voice your opinions. You can voice your opinions. What do you think about the mother and the stepfather? Do you think the mother's involved? Do you I'm a bit sus about the stepfather. I don't think the... But then again, she must know something. Because how did that child get out of that house without her knowing? But then again, I don't know. And then Seth, the father, said when he went to the house in the morning, when he got that text message, he went straight to the mother's house. And was it Pascal? Pascal asked what was the house like. He said it was uh, meticulous again. 
Clint, as always, except for uh, Sebastian's bakery. Yeah, I've heard that. And he's got a nasty. I think he's very. I think he's very controlling. Oh my God! Yes. Got to put this one up so I can see that one. The stepdad was ex-military. That's my brother. He hasn't been in the forces for years. I think he could find his way around doing a state without being caught on the camera. I think he really could. I could. I know I could. If I went back to my where I grew up, right? I think there's what there's like there's little alleyways and entrance ways and or gully ways or passages, whatever you call them, between the houses, which don't have cameras, right? So I could get around that where I grew up without being caught on camera. But yeah, he's been in these, so we know all that, wouldn't And if you look on the map. There's like a little, at the back of the houses, there's like a little gully, uh, like a little dip in the land, like a little gully thing, yeah, a dip. If you walked in there, you could be hidden from any cameras. Because I'd like to know where they went after they left that camera and I think there is more to that uh, video but Nick, Nick Berries is holding back on that because one minute 20 seconds is it the second video or something like that it's not very long and I don't think it's a child I think it's two adults Because Nick Ferris even said the one, su subject number two, starts to go back to the house and then the light goes off again. Well, we don't see that. We see subject number two hovering around a bit, keeps following, going towards subject one, hovers a little bit, then subject one goes off the screen and then eventually subject two goes off the screen. We don't see subject two come back on the screen. But he says it can they you see subject two going back to the house. Now if that was Sebastian, he would he'd be in the house, wouldn't he then? In the morning. Why would Sebastian, if he was running away, go back to the house? Right? And I'm sure if he's meeting someone, such as I, just say for instance, his stepdaddy, right? And he did go out and he saw it was his stepdad and his dad called him over, right? Why would he, the stepdad let him go back to the house? He's not going to, is he? So, we got that, so we're going to put this video on when I can find it. Is this it? Yes. Right. Oh no, sorry. Yes, it is. Yes. It's all right. I've just spent half an hour tonight looking for this on YouTube. Right. Then I thought, oh, I'm a dope. I am such a dope. Because when I watched it, I only shared it to Facebook, didn't I? So it's already on my page, so I just went to my page. I thought, oh my God, I've just wasted half an hour of this. But there's interesting points as well. 
See here? That is where there's a registered SO. Now that may look quite a distance. Right? It's not really. I'm not in a car. Right? And I've also heard there's a, a registered SO in the road office adjacent or something like that of his one of the roads next to him to where sebastian lives there's a registered so uh, let me just write in that so we get a good good right so from what i can understand there is two registered so's there's one we know of and the second one is ran by where he lives. Interesting. But then again, Sebastian never played that side, did he? Or did he? We don't know. They don't tell us that. All they hint at is, oh, he'll have so many friends when he comes back, meaning he's got no friends now. Because that's what he asked Father Christmas for. His friends. How sad is that for a 15 year old? To all, for all he wants for Christmas is friends. Anyway. Let me go and watch this, okay? And no shoes. It, right. And all of his shoes are accounted for. Okay. So I'm circling things on this map right now. This is just the general. I don't know if y'all can see my. They can. I'm looking at it. They can see oh, the, the, the mouse. Yeah. So this is just a general map of the area right from above. That's his house, obviously. This is the entrance to the construction site. And this is that registered um, offender's house. <clears throat> so when we start driving, which we're getting ready to do, we are basically like right here, maybe a little to the left of this arrow, but this is basically where we are, okay? And there's no sound while we're driving because we were talking and acting stupid, so I just mute us and the wind noise is kind of bad so there will be long pauses where we're not saying anything well before we go any further all right Grandy's just going out my head i'm just going all blank um i like one because I, it's just gone blank my mind has thing but Like right now. <laughs> okay, so right here, that's the entrance to the construction site, okay? But you'll see more, like... Detailed. Yeah. yeah. We, we get we get right up on it. And right here, we're coming to the entrance of the neighborhood. This is Kellen that you turn in on. And we're going to go all the way down this street first and turn around. It's pretty much like a cul-de-sac. And there are quite a few cameras in the neighborhood. Not as many as what I would assume. Uh, I will say that. It's not as many as I thought there would be since we were specifically looking for them at, at some point in this trip. Well, that's what I said. I said, do you think there'd be more home security cameras or something like that on the houses? Because they're nice houses. But there isn't, there isn't a lot of them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we pretty well got where they're at, but there's there's really not as many as I thought I would I would see out there. 
And if I remember, I don't think I saw any that weren't ring cameras. So they're kind of limited on what, you know. Or like a blink. Yeah, and I mean, there may be some in the backyards that we couldn't see. I mean, we didn't go into people's properties and stuff like that. We just stayed in the street. But They're definitely not like our cameras. Like our cameras here, we have like, it's like a full-on security system. And it backs up to like a hard drive. So just to give you a perspective, this street is the one that's to the right on the, you know, a lot of people have seen the overhead Google Maps image. This street is the one that's to the right in the subdivision, the right of his house. So right here is the construction. See, there's an entrance way right there to the construction site. I didn't know that. Because I was just focusing on his road where he lived. Right. So could they have gotten brought up here? Did they walk him up here? And that's how the dog followed the scent. And is this the entrance to the lost centre? You know what I mean? Because we're all thinking he just walked out the house to meet uh, to meet up with someone. But on that Every video it shows that person is waiting right by the house. You're not going to have them that close to the house, are you? If you're going to be meeting someone, if you're not supposed to be leaving the house. Plus, how did you get out? The door was locked. Just, just saying. Just saying. And we'll come back to that. We come back and pull up, and you'll be able to see it a lot better. And now we're going to turn around and we're going back down the street and we're going to ride on his street. Okay. I will say it's a lot of activity in what that you, neighborhood. What do you mean? Like people walking, like this one person walking to get in that car. And then there's like, I saw another guy or person. If she thinks that's a lot of activity around the street, come to Scotland. Come to Scotland. <laughs> come to the UK, you'll see a lot more people walking in and out of the houses in there. <laughs> that's very, very, very quiet. Person leaving, like driving towards us. I'm just saying during the day, there's like people there. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely people there. It's so crazy how like there's like so on top of each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's one thing I will say too. After driving around today and really paying attention to like the rest of the city, it's not as deserted as or desolate really as kind of like maybe I figured. What? So this is his street, and this this lawn care service was sitting in front of the house. Yeah, so we're in front of his house right now. But we have a better view of that. We come back down, okay? That's why I didn't. Oh, I got you. Like, but I mean, I'm going to point out something else to y'all that is here. No, there's no sidewalks. If you walk, you're on the road. But I mean, there's really probably not a whole lot of traffic the one thing i did note was a lot of cars parked on the side of the road yeah you know what i mean whereas like every house has a driveway right but <laughs> this <laughs> trip so <laughs> this right here he spoke. now this right that's a camera that the police have put there put there from the beginning why in case perhaps Sebastian was to come back and they saw him. Or just to monitor what people down here are doing. Right? However, when they went back the next day, I think it was the next day. I think that was the guy that met Seth. This had gone. It wasn't there. 
Because Seth probably won't even understand why I took that down. So. Spotted it. What? You'll, you'll get to it. He said, was that a camper? <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to that. So this right here is put up by the police and it is a camera. So I'm wondering like what, what did it, if they're looking, if they have it for possibly looking for Sebastian to come back and they're just monitoring the area or if they're looking for activity surrounding that house. Yeah. The comings and goings, right? Also, um, I am going to give this footage, all of it. I'm going to try to download it as like a movie or something and send that over to Pascal or the Pascal show. Like I told him I would, I've got a, it's already set up. I don't know if he will want the raw footage, but I'm going to talk to him and see what he wants to do with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> But any of you who are here from there, thank you. And for my people, if you are not subscribed to the Pascal show, do it. He's freaking hilarious. Like, you know, fiance and I, we can't watch a lot of people because they're just boring. They make you want to like go paint your living room. And he's definitely not one of those. Yeah, there's a lot of talk as well about that. Oh, I can go back. I can get back. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's big. There's a lot of talk about that. Right? And um, do you know to say the side is out? Right? Yeah, you don't really have that out if you're using it. Yeah? But they said it wasn't there when he first went missing well no because it was down in wherever the, the stepfather was working and on the day the stepfather didn't bring it back because he's in a rush to get home wasn't he so he's obviously gone down there or got someone else to go down there and pick it up for him now I don't know. They now say so. Now say this as well when you see it. They don't. You don't know. They've got people staying there, and I'm um, to use that, right? But I was thinking, is he using it? Is the stepdaddy using it? Huh? Eh? Could he be using it because she don't want him in the house because of what's gone on? Right? Now, this is also a perfect picture view because it is here between these houses up here, around here, is what they call common land. Right? Their garden is there because they've got that black railing fencing up. And I don't know if they've got a railing fencing up anywhere, but this is their common land. Now, what we seen was obviously from the cam cam camera angle, it's got to be this house, hasn't it? You know what I mean? You imagine if they've got a camera up there, right along there. I can't zoom in anymore. But if they've got a camera up there, that's going to say go that way. Well say that way and this one and it's on this corner that you see the you know the two that big light you see at the beginning it's like the uh home security lighting it's their lights that are on and you know that shadow of it that fuzzy bit in the corner it's this house that fuzzy bit we're getting in the corner is that house. So whoever it was has come up 
right up right from wherever hang heading towards here somewhere but that's the area i believe is the footage now in the driveway this is when we were there on 3 3 march 3rd whatever no, no camper now and i'm just showing you different angles showing you that camper was not in the driveway okay so that could mean a few things right in my book maybe somebody is visiting like some of their family or something and they are staying in that or that could be why the stepdad doesn't come home maybe right like if she because the the biological dad said that during the weekends that he has sebastian typically katie will go to memphis so but why the kate why she now if i'm the wife right i'd be going no sorry you you don't work on the weekends you come home here there's things that need doing around the house you know what i mean I wouldn't be going down there every second weekend. Maybe once, once a month I'd go down there when I didn't have Sebastian. But the other four, the other weekend when I didn't have Sebastian, the flipping father would be coming up to me. Would I have be running down there all the time? Sorry. That could be a camper that he lives in in Memphis. The only thing I would question probably right now is why is it out? Why is it, yeah. The, like, the, why are the, the sides extended? And everything yeah, it's like, like pushed out as like you're like living in it right now. So it's almost like, for me, it is almost like there's maybe somebody staying in it or it could have been out because maybe they were cleaning it or something. Well, and the one thing that I did notice when we drove by today the, when we when we passed by there the first time, one of the first things I noticed was that the front door was shut. And the, when we went on the third, the front door was open. And then, I, you know, we heard their interviews talking about, you know, it, it kind of made me think that they were leaving it open. So if he's if he comes, he's, you know, he's just sees the front door open and comes in. But today it was shut. And I'm just kind of like. I'm sorry, but I think everyone's on high alert there in that area. Everyone's going to be on high alert for that little lag. So I can't see him getting past any of the neighbors, especially in daylight. Right? Without one of them seeing him. You know what I mean? Someone's going to see him if he's going to come back in the day. And they would take him in and phone the police. Because I know I would. Or I'd sit outside with him until the police got there. Anyway, let's continue. You know, I, I don't know. Now, there were lawn care workers outside. Maybe they were trying. He was told just where that footage was pointing. That See, is the view. That's what they call the common area. Well, in fact, I'm just going to take the sound off. That's what they call the coming area, right? But see that ditch? That's ideal for anyone to get past these houses without being seen, especially on the night time where it's so dark. Right, and it runs all the way up past their house. Right? And hold on, I'm just going to take a little bit further. I'm going to skip a lot of it because it goes, it isn't quite, quite long. Right. Up here, can you see through them hedge trees there? I can't get any closer. There's like a white building. That white building is what you see 
when you look up their common area between the two houses. So it had to come from one of them houses, the camera. I'm not saying that. It's like a garage sort of thing. It could have come from that house or whatever, but it had to come from one of them two houses there. Right, I'm just going to scoop it up a bit because we do keep stopping. Yeah. Let's stop. See? That's the house. Between, that's their driveway, right? That's that white building you see at the back of that uh, common ground area. Now, this is what I really wanted to get onto, as you can this bit. Right? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Let's just see. Last night. You have to kind of put things that people say together and maybe it you might get a whole story. So I remember very beginning, I swear it was the sheriff who said that the dog tracked him to the road and then it went nowhere. Yeah. Now we have his dad saying that it tracked him to the construction site and went cold right so if you look there's a road right here yeah mm -hmm. going to the construction site so could they have could the sheriff have been saying pretty much it tracked him here but it led nowhere right right so, so. that's what i think because why would they say the dogs none of the dogs had a scent Trapped into the road, then lost it. Right? Which led everyone to believe, okay, he's come out of the house and he's walked over to someone, maybe parked up in a car, because that's where they lost the scent. And the car drove off. But like I said, if there's a car involved going out of his road, the cat, there's a camera on that bottom house that would have caught that car. Right? But this makes more sense. It tracked him to the edge of the road, then lost the scent. So what happened? And there's a tree trunk there, and that is there. In the UK, we just put they just put big boulders there, and I mean great big boulders, because we have a lot of travellers, fair people, and all that lot. And they would move that out of the way and go and park their caravans on it. They really would. So they put these great big massive boulders there to stop anyone getting on it. But obviously, obviously it's used, so they can't put boulders there. So, but I didn't know about this bit here. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll carry. Well, and there are there are actually formed streets in this sub in this uh, con right road. Right. I will say there's more and more like weird stuff that tends to like come out about the. Yeah. How. How do you know? Come on, I'm going to think. Well, this is the construction the site. What it is. Oh, and someone asked earlier about the sewers systems. Yes, there are sewer systems. Obviously, you see them gigantic manholes ready to bust somebody's tire wide open. But Sumner County went through every sewer system with a camera. So they were all checked. Yeah. But you notice know, on this where these houses are, right? 
They seem to be built up higher. Right? And they've got a walkway on some of the roads. So this street we're on right now, we're heading what, if there were a, a road all, all the way to Sebastian's, we would drive right into the back of his house on this road right here. So like I was saying a while ago, this, this is the closest street to his subdivision that, where the stop sign is at. And it's, it's not far at all. I mean, it's what, what you're looking at kind of at the bottom left of the screen off in the distance is the rear of the house on the east side of Kellen. So it's not far. No, it's not. I got to tell you, I'm not good at this stuff. I didn't even see that dude across the street in front of us in real life. I could I could have killed that man. I was so busy like looking at the area. I could kick myself for not stopping and asking Talking these, to asking him. these people just the simple question of, you know, about what time does work get going around here? Because I was just curious about that. Because, you know, in the days of me building homes and stuff like that, it, six o'clock in the morning is not, a, not unheard of at all for a construction site to get going. And I'm going to say this, something that maybe could be considered a little bothersome is, have they checked these? I Again, I'm going to assume that Sumner County did, and, and you know, I think Trev said too, uh, TBI, yeah, they're involved too. I'm, I'm going to assume that they checked everything thoroughly because I, I do not believe this is To a, be fair, I, I hear you, but they also didn't go to the landfill immediately. So, again, I'm like, have you guys checked these dumpsters? And I mean, it is a possibility, right, that the assumption from the story that they were given led them the wrong way. And they spent all their energy focusing on searching the area and not really looking at the other possibilities in the beginning. I don't know. So but, now we're just looking towards his street, right? Right. Now, from what I understand as well, right, it's got all these buildings, which I should hope they have searched all these. And I would hope they did search them big watching and beans, them uh, skips. I would hope they did. But we'll soon find out because if they didn't, they'll be going over to the, wherever, they skip, wherever the skips and today will be. If they start going over there, then we know they didn't check the skips. Right? But I found out, well, I heard, that they didn't even stop work while the search was going on. While the search was going on, they didn't even stop the work. They just carried on like a normal day. Right, or not his street, but Kellen. I mean, it's really not far at all to that construction site like i've been asked like how long would it take to walk it and i mean if you're getting it and you're not staring at your phone or anything i mean you could be there in under a minute oh yeah maybe a minute and a half if you're leisurely walking right These are close to million dollar homes or not far off. So the sign at the no, end of the road. No, they start at five. Yeah, the sign at the end of the road said they start at in the fives. They don't have enough land to be no million dollars. Sorry, got rid of it. <laughs> got kind of close to that one. I was one. worried about you hitting that truck. I wasn't even paying attention to where the camera's pointing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, we probably had like half an inch clearance. I mean, these houses are right on top of each other. Yeah. Could you imagine? I, it's not a place I could live in, but I mean, that's just me. Well, don't come to the UK then. Do not come to the UK. If you can't leave right next to someone, don't come to the UK. 
because we literally, like your living room, door, living room walls are attached to their living room walls. You know what I mean? You have to, you, in some roads, there's like three houses attached. Where I grew up, there's one, two, three houses attached. And then you had like an entrance way, then you'd have another one, two, three houses, and then an entrance way. Sometimes you'd have four houses. So if you can't live that close to someone, then do not come to the UK. I mean, a lot of people really like stuff like that. Mm. I got to have my space. Yeah. I think that's probably why we assume that like it, it's so desolate because it is here. You know what I mean? Like we don't live on top of each other like that. Right. But we're really probably one of the few areas that's left with land right. in a house, right? Yeah. It's been so like I would love to live in a house like that. You know what I mean? As long as I got space between my two neighbours, I, I wouldn't care. I'd love to live in a house like that. This development, it, it's been around here growing like crazy because Facebook <laughs> moved <laughs> their data center to they, Gallatin. They added one. Or added one, sorry. And we also have a... I don't know why the, this dude can't drive. I, he could have fit there, but... <laughs> I'm intimidating. Get out, out my way, bro. I'm busy. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> we also have Beretta that makes handguns. So there's a lot of people that have moved here in the past, probably what year, year and a half, two years. It's yeah. just like blown up. And Nashville's getting way too overcrowded. So all of these little outlets. I do like their stop signs. I think we need them in the UK because they have in the UK they don't know when to stop. They don't even use the indicators as to whether they're turning left or right. Liar. Now you're gonna see the construction part, like the the dirt part, up close. Okay. Yeah, I mean when this subdivision's done, the the land it's it's a huge piece of land that they're building all this on. Y'all see them manhole covers? Well, they haven't put the final pave down, so it's... <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, they'll build it. <laughs> but you're driving on the street already. They pave it twice? They'll put... <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Yes, baby, they will They will build it. Oh, manhole covers in the UK. You get them in your front gardens here. Or your back gardens, believe me. You do. That asphalt up quite a bit more than what it is right now when it's all said and done. Like, y'all see how big that plot is? You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty massive, right? Just all this area. And I'm thinking right there is that one house maybe we were beside, but it might be on over. Because if you... This dirt part is really above mm -hmm. where the houses already are. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, and it's it's at the back of the subdivision, and it's you know uphill for sure. Uh, JC, I didn't get your email, girl. I check my email like once every three weeks. <laughs> Same with my Discord. I do not do social media; <laughs> like I'm not very good at it. And I'll get in a mood where I'm like, "Oh, look at that cute little place there. I wonder if that's like a public bar." Oh, sorry, I was. That was a personal moment for me. My bad. Oh, yeah, that's not a real road. Okay, I see you. I got you. I mean, it is a real road. It's just not a final pave. See see that, that manhole cover there? Well, you missed it. It was to the right, but that's pretty close to where it'll finally end up. So they do pave it twice? Yeah. That seems like a waste of daggone money. Why can't y'all drive in on rocks? Skyler said 500000 is clickbait. I asked if you were going to CC. What the hell is CC? Crime con. I bet. 
Oh, girl, bye. Let me tell you something about Crime Con. I'm, <laughs> I can look at crime all day for free. I'm not about Pray out here. I can't get rid of your name because that's 50. Right? And then what we're going to do is go back out the way we came in past his neighborhood, past the construction neighborhood, and then we're going to show y'all the where they had the command center set up. Uh, it was just my iPhone. Right. That isn't the one. That's the other one. The other one where they spoke to the father must be on another one or later on in this. But um, that's mainly the area where Sebastian lives and where the construction site was. As I said, I didn't know about that second opening at the top of that one road. I really didn't. And like them, I'm I'm just so took back that there, there isn't so much home security cameras. But what I will do, I will go back to right back to this. Over there. Over. Right. That is the common area. And there is that gully, uh, whatever it is. And I can't see Sebastian crawling along there because he didn't like getting dirty. That's what I can't understand. Why would he go out the house? Unless he, like his dad said, he'd nip out to the post box to pick up the post and that'd be it and he'd be straight back in. If he's going any further, he'd put socks and his shoes off. He didn't even have a night coat on. A lot of people go out in. So. No, I'm just trying to get this going. You see. And, uh, soon find out. Like it's like a full-on security system, and it backs up to like a hard drive. I know this is so we gotta go up a bit more. Did you show you something from that? Then thank God for those lawn care people because it really gave right. us a minute to like sit there and kind of. If we go back, go back just a few second, right? That's his front door there, just round that pole, and that's the other common area. Right? It is not, I don't believe it's this common area they are on about. The common area they are on about is, oh, oh, come up there. Oh, God, sorry, thank you. Here. The common area they're on about is this bit here. Because it looks like they're walking out the back garden. You know what I mean? Out their area. And look towards here. You know what I mean? And from there, uh, we're not sure if that, you know, as you as you drove around, you've seen that black fencing. I can do. Um, you see all that, some black fencing on certain houses, right? They've got a black fence for their back area, yeah? Railing fence. Now, we're not sure if it goes straight up onto the neighbouring back fence, panelling, or not. Right? Now, if it doesn't, it means they can get into that ditch from that back area and go all the way along or is there a way between the two fences right 
where they won't get caught on camera on any um, security. Because if you haven't got torches on, you are not going to see them. You might set off your home, home security lighting or your lights outside, but it's not, it's not going to show them. Right? As you've seen in that one video that was posted, that one minute, 20 second long video, it's not going to show a lot. Because even the, the air lights, they're at the back here. They've got security lights up here. It didn't even show who it was. It just showed the torch moving from along here over to here, where somewhere over here, where the other torch was. What I want to know is can you get from here over into the next street? Right? Without having to climb a fence. Or is there a black fence going all the way down? I don't think there's a black fence going all the way down. Because I don't want to go, go to the very beginning. You can't see no black fence around there. And when you go to the very beginning again, right? Oh, God, they're going to go back those beds, aren't they? Yeah. All right, we're going to go down to that dead common area. Right, that's the neighbours. I'll get back to the point of the road. Yeah. So there's no fencing. There's no black fencing there to separate it from there to there, is there? So I'm wondering, did they go over that area up here? Right? Up in there, common area. Did they go into that ditch and over and into this area here? And then somehow managed to get past all the security cameras on all those houses up to the construction site. But I'd like to know which route the dog took them. Where did the dog take them? Which way? Did the dog bring them down this way and roll up that road? Or did the dog take them across the common area, through this ditch and across there? That's what I'd like to know. So, anyway, once again, I'd just like to say hello to all you on X who are watching. Thank you for being here tonight. Please think about joining me on YouTube. And if you do, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit subscribe. Comment and share, please. Oh, God, I've just clicked on again. Sorry. Right. So, did the dog take them across that way and across these gardens, or did the dog bring them down this way? But I'm sure we'll if the dog. We're able to actually see the IR lights on the. I'm sure if they walk down this way, right? <coughs> <coughs> the guy in that corner house over there to your right, right, will get caught among his camera. But then again, if they didn't have torches on, it might be very hard to see them. Because they do go through, they drive through there on the night time. And yet their cameras do give off a, a very lot of light to so light up so you can see the area. But they've got another camera, camera, which just makes it look black and white. Literally, that's what it looks like, black and white. Because there's no light. 
The only light they can that second camera is picking up is from the first camera when it's lighting up the ground. Everything else is just black and white. Where some ha house lights are on, whatever. But they said you please could come back at 3 a.m. in the morning, they wouldn't have all these lights on. Like a lot of the houses turn off the outside lights, don't they, on the night time? Right, so you wouldn't have all those outside lights on. So it would be a lot darker. So, um, I don't know if there's something else I want to just go before, talk about before we go any further. I just want to check my email. I've got some notes in there. Which I'm not sure if to do this by this mess. Oh. Uh, let's have a look. Right, yeah. Oh, it's just a video. It's just this video. Right, but we'll open it and we'll have a look again. Just before we move on. No, this is the 10 second one. Yeah, that's only the 10. But in so, see how that one figure's moving and then the light goes off. Right? Then it comes back on again. But that person here is hovering around that area. Now that's the back of their house. So all this shadowing thing that we're getting up here, right, that flickering, is the neighbour's house. But on the longer version, right, which I've, not, which I've got on my Facebook page, right, I have got on my Facebook page, Oh, good, you know, try and find it again, aren't you? It's on your Facebook page. Let's see. Yes, this is it. Right, I'll go. Right. No, 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 no. Take it off, take it off. Right. That's the light on the back of their house, There's the person waiting in the hall. The trees or whatever. But then I was always bothered about this light here that comes up. And that is obviously, you know that white building they kept pointing out? I think someone was in there because that lit up like Noah's business. It lit up like Blackpool Illuminations, this bit down here, did. Anyway, one goes off the screen, right? And look at that. So that building at the back was so lit up. See number two come back on. Hovering around a bit. Not sure what to do. Should she go? Should they go? Right. Goes off screen again. Then it's back on again. Then she walks off. But this must be that white building they kept pointing out. So, it cleared a few things up for me. But there has been a lot of speculation, and I think we've got to stop the speculation and just let TBI and whatever do the job. But I just hope TBI don't let this become a cold case. They've got to have some evidence, right, to, A, first of all, say, look, this is going into the investigation side. And we all know when they say investigation, we all know they mean 
criminal investigation. Right? So, for them to say that after what, I think it was a week of searching. I think it was a bit quick to say that. So they must have had some idea that something wasn't right. You know what I mean? For them to say that so quickly. And then for them to say the dog lost the scent at the curb. So you're telling us out of all the dogs you took there, not one dog picked up on his scent anywhere. Right? Then they said they had no video evidence, no home security video, nothing. So we're all sitting here thinking, well, how the hell did you get away from that house then? How the hell? You get 15 year old, get out of that locked house, the doors were locked. How the hell did you get out of that house? Right, without leaving a scent. Well, if they followed his scent to that uh, construction site, which is just in the other road, so if they can get from their area, their coming area, into the other coming area, without any fences, right? It's pitch black at night. Yeah? No torches. They wouldn't be using the torches because if it is the stepdad, he'd be saying, no torches, now, No torches. Because it would get picked up. Unless they have got video to say someone was heading up that road. Or someone was heading down that road. We don't know. Because they're not telling us. And we're sitting in, and then you've got all these people from that. Well, I think it's the father. He's acting a bit suspicious. Yes, I think it is as well. I think the stepfather's got a lot to do with this. I think he's very controlling. I think he's uh, a, a woman beater. Yes, I said it. I said it on here. I'm assuming. But then again, we've got no proof. We've only got his side. We've only got what his ex-wife says. Now, you know what ex-wives can be like sometimes. They can be nasty pieces of work. Never mess with a woman. Never. Because a scorned woman is deadly. They will pull out all the fucking everything. I pull it all out. They throw it all out there. So we've only got her word that is down for is if D V is you know what I mean? There's been no charges that I've heard of of in D V. So if he was, why none of his wives ever said and the second you think about they're pressing charges so really we can't really say that so i'll take it back what i said but it's what people are hearing people are reading and they're hearing all these stories and then adding two and two and getting five sorry to say jay 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 Allard does a brilliant job in investigating and he just finds a lot of information out. Right, and he finds out the information about the TV. So I'll go with him. I'll stick with Jay Allard. Right? But to be honest with you, we can't really put that out there because we've got nothing on paper to say he's been accused of it. Nothing that I know of. And I've looked everywhere. Right. So, we're going to leave it at that for now. We are now going to go into... Whew, this is another hard case. Magdalene Soto. Right. Let's take this off. Why? Right. We're going into Magdalene Soto. Now, this person, oh, I don't, that's my door going, my phone's just beeping. Someone's messing with my doorbell again. 
tem Sorry about that. I'm having a mess with my doorbell at the moment and as soon as I hit the doorbell, it rings on my phone, but I've got it on silent so it flashes up that someone's at my door. And when I punch it on to see who's there, there's no one there. So it's starting to annoy me now. Anyway, so this guy we're going to talk about now. I don't even want to associate his name with Paul Magdalene Soto. I don't, but we've got to. Because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be sitting here today talking about Magdalene Soto. What I want to know is, um, what do you think? Do you think the mother had anything to do with it? Do you think the mother had any any idea of it happening or do you think it was a complete surprise to her now bear in mind i've just closed all my down my, bearing in mind these charges go back back to oh no i will bet them up for you i'm just going to go into my email okay? Go back to what five years or something, something like that, and she was only about eight, right? And oh, I've just got to make sure I've got the right, I've got the right document, but I want them in the right order, right? Right, we'll share this first, right? I'm gonna see if I can get in any closer. Oh, oh, that was a bit too close, I think. Oh, no. Oh. Is that, yeah. And, yes, I think there will be charges for the mother. Whether she was complicit to the unaliving is another question. But there's a lot of charges coming her way because she actually covered up for him. She gave him an alibi. You know what I mean? By saying to the police the last time she spoke to her daughter it was on the Monday morning, or last time she saw her daughter Monday morning when she was getting dressed for school at 8 o'clock in the morning. But then when she did the interview, said the last time she spoke to her daughter was on the evening, from the evening. Now, we all know that it's a lie. Well, we don't know about her talking to her daughter on the Sunday evening, but we all know that the fact that she saw her at 8 o'clock is a lie. Going right out of all that lie. Right? Put her head on the block and chop it off. She lied for this guy, right? And um, because she's, she then said she saw her getting into jeans and a green hoodie and white crocs. Shorts, black shorts, green hoodie and white crocs. Now, people have said perhaps it was her who was dressed in those items. Because when you look at Magdalene and her mom, 
right? Especially at the age of 13, right? From behind, right? You could probably take them as a young girl, yeah? Was the mum the one who dressed up as Madeline? Or was that a false story the police gave her to run with? You know what I mean? Just to see how she reacted to it. And to be honest with you, she didn't react to any of it. Not one flipping tear. Oh, she did get the end, I think, near the end. But then, on the second interview, she's sitting there shaking like no one's business. And someone's always told me, <coughs> <coughs> right, the leg movement, when you're sitting there and shaking the leg, right? It's a nervous sign. It's like to say they don't want to be there. All right, so if you're in a position where you don't want to be in and you're sitting there, and you don't want to be there, your leg, you start shaking their, their leg. I do. Well, I don't shake my leg. I tap my foot. I tap my foot, which shakes my leg. If I'm sitting somewhere in a room which I don't want to be in, I'll start tapping my foot, which shakes my leg. But her foot was off the floor because her whole leg was literally shaking. So she wasn't tapping the floor, she was, her whole leg was just literally shaking. Now that to me is saying she didn't want to be there. She felt really awkward about these, these interviews. And did anyone see the one with the Spanish one? I saw them. Right? And how the grandmother spoke to the Spanish TV news station as well. So, I don't know, but it's just sick. So, we're going to go through this. It is, I haven't got all the paperwork. I've only got certain bits. And to be honest with you, you don't want to read all of it. You don't. The bits I've got is disturbing enough. Okay? I'm going to show you the other one I've got. I can pull it up on my screen. So we've got it here now. And it goes. The investigation revealed more images and videos depicting criminal act. The Kissing Me Police Department provided this evidence to the State Attorney's Office we found cause to file the following charges. Now, from what I was told, they only had to watch one video. They watched one video from what I know of, and that was enough to put the charges out there. One video they watched was enough to put these charges on it. Right? Now, there was... Eight counts of sexual, no, I said it, that B, right, on a child under 12. Five counts of SB with a child 12 to 18. Uh, now, I have to watch what I say because it is YouTube I'm on, and some people on X will say, just say the words, you don't have to, I, I have to be careful what I say, because if I say to some anything too explicit, YouTube will flag it up, believe me, they flag it up, and it won't, it won't let me put it out unless I go in and edit it, and I can't edit certain words, you can't because I haven't got the technology to do the bleeping sounds on my, on my videos. Anyway, then you have seven counts of lewd and lash, lascivious, lascivious molestation, 40, 40 counts of unlawful possession of material depicting S, 
EXUAL performance by a child 10 or more images. Right? So each one of those 40 videos has 10 or more images on it. Each one video, every video has 10 or more images on it. So it's not just one child doing one thing or whatever, or one person doing one thing. It's, I don't know if it's just one child or two or three, four, or, but there's 10 or more images on each, on each can, right? So, and then he goes on to say, um, hang on, ah, right, we appreciate the efforts of our partners in the state attorney's office in assisting with seeking justice for Madeline, says Kissing Me Chief of Police Betty Holland. With this being a complex case with many facets, our work is not done. We are continuing our investigation into the timeline leading up to Madeline arriving. So people are saying, why haven't the press charges yet for her murder or arriving or death? Whatever you want to say. Because they're building a, such a tight case against him that they haven't got even wiggle room to move. There's no way he can get out of it. But if they wish it now, right, the murder charge, if they wish that and charge him now, he can go for a quick trial, right? Which means they have 90 days to get it all put together and put in front of a court. 90 days. But while they are, while they have him in prison at the moment, um, these, or these, yeah, because they've got him going to court, when is it May? Or April? Well, <coughs> 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 Like, I'm going to call for that soon. Very soon, really. Because I've got enough evidence to send him down on just that. Right? But they want it so watertight that he can't get out of any of this overcharge. Right? But then again, who did do the M-U-R-D-E-R? Who did it? Was it he? Was it her? Now, I read count. I read some of it every day. And I wish I could say it now, but I couldn't because I was on my phone. Uh, because it was Saturday morning. And my grandson was here, so I don't go on live. And I don't like to talk about any of this when my grandson's around me. So it's on my phone. And... Uh, it was saying how the mother beat her daughter quite badly some days. Right? It was really nasty towards her. Really nasty. Now, did they have an argument where the mother's ended up whacking her? We don't know. And I think what they're doing as well, they're waiting for the uh, toxicology results to come back and all that lot from, uh, from Madeline. Because I, they want to know if she had any drugs in her, anything. Now, apparently, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what to believe. I've heard the mother was a dog walker. She had her own business walking dogs. Yeah? Then I've heard she used to work nights. 
then I heard she's um, like a planner for holidays at Disney World or whatever. So what does she do? Is she a dog walker? walker? Does she do another job where, where she's working on? Or does she work at Disney World as a, a holiday party planner? You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, she did that. There is um, a... Hold on, I'll show you. Not that. Not that. Mom. There is a pause between somewhere between 2019. So nothing happened during 2020. Nothing happened during 2021. And then it started again in 2022. All right. Now, that's as far as I can get it in. I hope you can all see this. I hope so, because I cannot get it in any closer. But one charges, one all the way down to 20. No, one to eight is SB on child under 12. Under 12. Right? From 9 to 13, it's SB with child 12 to 18. I don't know what familial custodial authority. What did I mean by that? Because I always thought familial meant family. Well, it was all in the family, kept it in the family. I don't know. I might be wrong. Right? So from 9 to 13, it's SB with a child, 12 to 18, in, in familial custodial authority. I know what that means. 14 to 20 is lewd or less. Lazy, lazy, lascivious molestation, right? So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there of lewd or lascivious molestation. Then, oh God, come back. Then from 21. And I think it goes all the way, yes, from 21 all the way down to, oh God, I've got to go back, all the way down to 60, we've got unlawful possession of materials depicting S, S performance by a Child, 10 or 9 images on all of these. So from 21 to 60, you've got all that. And it's 10 or more images on each count. I hope to God it was, well, in a way, I hope to God it wasn't just on, um, I don't want to say that, because I wouldn't want to wish that on anyone, right? But you imagine Magdalene going through that. This, oh, yeah, I'm 21, so there's 20 to 30, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50. There's 39 charges of unlawful possession of material depicting sexual performance of a child. 10 or more images. 39 charges times that by 10 right because that's how many images they had just in them 39 charges right now this bit here is just really all oh, the court case time right 
But in the full paperwork, it started back in 2019. As I said, there was a break between 2020 and 22. But I think that's because of COVID. Right? Because it only happened during the summer holidays. If you, if you can get all the paperwork, it shows you the dates. Right? And the dates line up with the holidays. So while she was at school, while she was at going to school each day, it wasn't happening by all accounts. Or it wasn't taking any pictures or videos then. But during the holidays, he was taking the big pictures and the videos. But some people are saying someone had to be, someone else must have been involved. Because it's, they're saying from the camera angle of what they're depicting on these pictures. He said, you got to be a contortionist sort of thing to get these camera angles. You know what I mean? Now, there was a case mentioned where only the other week, a few weeks back, where this guy who lived not far from them, he himself and his son, who he, his son killed himself, was arrested for a uh, child pain. Now, I don't like calling it pornography because it isn't. I always think of porn as something to do with adults, yeah? The top shelf sort of thing. A child is not an adult. A child is not consenting. So I always think porn, that top shelf material is for consenting adults. So why do they bring classes as porn? Well, because it's got consenting. Right? It's CA is child assault. Oh, CA is child abuse. Whichever way you want to look at it. But it's not consenting. Where I look at porn, or corn, as some people say, as consenting. Because when I grew up, they had a top shelf in the news agents. And there was news agents then. What? They just went in and bought magazines and papers, and that was it. Right? And those on the top shelf, because children could not reach it. So, so I always look at that word, right, as adults who are consenting. Yeah? If you're not consenting, then I don't think they should use the word porn. They should not use that word, especially when it comes to children. Anyway. Ah. Oh. Right, let's see if I can get him on this. Now, this was the affidavit for arrest warrant, okay? And his charge was sexual battery familiar. That was the first, right? That was when he was first charged. Right? That's what he was done for on his first, when the first arrested him. And um, it says here, your affiant, which is the detective, in the course of his or her official duties has come to investigate. On February 26, 2024, at approximately 20 hours ago, which is 8 o'clock, if you don't know, you're 24 hour clock, it's 8 p.m. A 13-year-old victim was reported missing by her mother. 
The mother advised her daughter's stepfather, which he wasn't, they wasn't married. Even though a good YouTuber, who I do believe, has said there is a marriage certificate. How true that marriage certificate is? Could it just be one that had typed up themselves, printed up themselves? I don't know. But he lost all rights to be called a stepfather as soon as he laid one little finger on that girl. Right? Anyway, Susan picked her up from home and dropped her off at Hunter's Creek Middle School. No, he didn't. He dropped her off by the church, you see. The mother then went to pick up the victim from school at Smithson and learned the victim never showed up to school. Hold on. Hold on. Right. Can't get any closer. An interview was conducted, conducted with the victim's death. No step with the victim. Oh, whatever. Stephen Stone, who advised he picked the victim up and dropped her off in front of Peace United Methodist Preschool. Right, and there's the address. Which was down the street from the school at eight. Zero eight four. That's eight eight forty a.m. Right. Hunter Creek Middle School began class at nine thirty. Hundred. Hours. Right. Now look at those times. Eight forty hours. Nine thirty hours. Yeah. That's the time he said he dropped you off. That's the time of school start. A license plate reader captured Stephen's vehicle with a Florida tag, whatever, from the school, driving away from the school at 0810 hours. Now that buggers up the mother's uh, uh, statement where she said she still saw her daughter. Well, not quite buggers up yet. Not quite. Hold on. Read. During the interview, Stephen, he provided consent to search his phone. However, his dad had accidentally performed a factory reset. Right? But I'm sure we've gone through all this. Right? Let's see. Upon reviewing the contents of Stephen's phone, several images and videos were located. The missing juvenile with a uh, body part opening openings as the focal point of the picture and videos. There were also pictures and videos depicting the missing juvenile body part and mouth being penetrated by a dickhead. As such the files depict the sexual performance of a child. Your affiant has provided a course to believe Stephen was in right. Now this was the first all with the first charges. Right? And they noticed on the pictures, right, that they was looking at. And they got confirmed with the people who was at the house searching the house. And they confirmed that these these patterned underwear, shirts, blankets and sheets all fitted in with what they seen on the pictures. You know what I mean? So they knew these acts were being done in these certain rooms, in certain parts of the house. Right? Now I'm sorry. Right? I'm going to turn that down because that is uh, right, he's one sick MF, and you're telling me this young girl, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, nine, ten, 
Doe een eitje of een eit. Sorted. Plus, look at this. One. Oh, I'm going to let me get the top. One. Here's a picture. Right, look at her eyes. Right? Her mother doesn't have them backs. Only when, not there. But look, she's not even, I don't think she's 13 now. I think she's 12. I think she was 12 in that photo. Because this is... No. But even so, you can see. Look at the dark shadows and the bags under her eyes. Can't see it, no. It's more than that one, though. A 13, 12, 11 and 12 and 13 years shouldn't be having that. And you're telling me, if I had a daughter, and I was seeing her with bags and her eyes up again. Babe, are you not sleeping? And she goes, no. I go, why? What's bothering you? Why aren't you sleeping? Like, I used to have trouble sleeping when I was a child. So my mum used to change the bedroom round for me. Move my bed from one area to another area. Just so that my head was in a different angle. My body was lying at a different position. And it used to help, but then for about four weeks, then it started again where I weren't sleeping. So every four to six weeks, I was it got to the point where I was doing it myself. I was changing my bedroom myself. And as my older my younger sister got older, right? She'd come home from school sometimes and their bedroom would be changed over. It really would. I'd be changed the bedroom round by the time she got home from school. And she'd go, you've done it again, haven't you? You've moved my flipping bed. Right? But my mum was worried about me. You know what I mean? But then when she realised it was just a matter of having... Like, I went to the doctor's about it. I went everywhere, right? And they said it was just my hormones, really. Because I was going through that teenager years when it all started. So it was just my hormones. And my other sister said, does that mean you can stop moving the bedroom around? I went, no, I'm still moving the bedroom around. When I come to a point where I can't sleep, I'm moving the flipping beds around. If you don't like it, I'll move your bed outside. Simple as. And I still do it to, to this day. Keep moving my bed around. From one wall to another. Just so that my, my body is lying in a different... Instead of my head being north or my head being south. My, you know what I mean? So, and... I have got to do that again because I haven't been sleeping for a couple of weeks now or more. So it's getting to the point where I will have to start doing it again, move my bed around. But you're telling me this mother didn't notice the bags under her daughter's eyes, right? She said she suffered with ADHD or autism, but then she we reassessed and they said she didn't have autism. No, I don't think she did. I think it was so, uh, some sort of a side effect she was having from the abuse she was suffering from your partner. Right? You can't tell me for six years she lived in that house with that guy and she never clicked onto nothing. No. Nah. A mother's intuition would say, what's up with my daughter? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. And this guy, uh, hold on, I've got to 
I've got an odd picture over there. See, that's how she should be, smiling and happy, having fun. There, she seemed too grown up. Yes, yeah, she's 13, but she seems like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm 13 now, you know what I mean? No one's going to get to me no more. No one's going to hurt me. That's the sort of look, feeling I get from that face. No one's going to hurt me no more. And I think she said something to him. And I think he's too, I think something happened. You know what I mean? And he strangled her. I think when the autopsy report comes back, you'll find she was strangled. Now, there's that picture I had of him. Oh, here it is. Um, now, that when she was younger as well. Yeah? Now, yeah, she's having to stand there and have photos with her mum and put the smiles on with him, knowing what he's doing to her. And she's having to stand there. Makes me wonder if she really did want these photos taken. And her mum's going, oh, come on, let's get in the photo, take the photo. You know what I mean? But you can't see it in this picture, but this one. Look at them eyes. They're dead. They're, they've got no soul in them. Right, there's no soul in them, they're dead. And there was a picture of him when he was younger. I think that's the same picture there, yeah. There was another picture I thought I had, but obviously I haven't. I'll see if I can get it out my file. And it's obviously when he's younger. And where is it, where is it, where is it? Hmm. Right, okay. I must have put it somewhere else. Let's get that sticker off my page. Let's get him off my page. Go on. Now. This is the cherry on the fucking cake. But I saw that I could have puked there and then. She's comforting him. Shouldn't he be comforting her? It's her daughter that went missing and she's comforting him. She knows. She's already got herself into trouble by giving him an alibi by saying she saw Madeline at 8 o'clock in the morning. When we all know at 7.35, He's thrown her school computer and her school bag in the big bin by their apartment. And at 20 past eight, they've got him on camera coming into the complex with Madeline sitting up, propped up in the seat. Because there's a lot of people saying, well, can they use that as evidence? Because then you've got to be able to see that person in the car. You know what I mean? And that's why they've come out and said, she's propped up in the seat. We can see her clearly. And that was at 20 past eight in the morning. Coming back into the complex. So where had he been? How had he got him into that? He must have took her out into that car in the early hours of the morning. When it was pitch black. Put her on the back seat somewhere. Got rid of her computer and whatever, R7, not realising he's been caught on camera, got in his car and drove out. They must have seen him drive out. Right? Because they said they had him on camera at 10 past 8 coming away from the school, then they had him on camera at 20 past 8 coming into the complex. 
So surely they would have them on camera going out. So where did he go for like that 40 minutes or so with Madeline in that car? And how did he transfer her? Or, was, or did he just sit her up in the back of the car? On the back seat of the car, you know what I mean? But why come back with her body in the car at 20 past eight? And the mother's going to sit there and say she didn't know nothing. Be quiet. That's my cat in the background. So she cannot sit there and say she did not know her daughter was dead. Oi! Put the phone. Hold on. You talk to. Right, so she cannot sit there and say, I didn't know my daughter was dead. You gave them a flipping alibi. What did he tell you for you to give him an alibi? You know what I mean? You're as sick as him because you gave him an alibi. And unless they come up with a deal, so she just knows more than what she's saying. And they come up with a deal with her and say, you tell us everything you know. You tell us everything we know and then we might drop these charges and you'll only end up doing what? 18, 18 months to, say, three years in prison for giving false testimony. Because there's other charges they can have her with. But apparently she's lawyered up and at the rumour on the YouTube street is she checked herself into some hospital. Well, while she's in the hospital, they can't touch her. They can't even speak to her. Right? Now, she has admitted herself that she suffers with, um, what is it now? I can't think what it is now. But you have to have medication for it. Right. So she has admitted that it's on a, one of her a post she put up once, either on TikTok or Facebook or something like that. So you've got all that. So do you think she's going down? Do you think they will charge her? Do you think she killed? Do you think she murdered her daughter? I don't think she murdered her. But she did know about it. She knew about it. Oh, and apparently the daughter wouldn't sleep in the bed on her own. She'd sleep with her mum. Because she was scared to sleep in bed on her own. Yes, because her mum had the monster not under her bed. The monster wasn't under this little girl's bed. The monster was on top of her bed. All right, shush. Sorry about that if you hear my cats in the background, everyone. Shush up. Anyway, so this poor girl at the hands of this monster. I just want to know. But the one press charges with her until the press charges with him. Because they need to know who murdered her. They need to know. Was it the mother or was it him? Me, I think it was him. I think it's because little uh, Madeline turned around and said, I'm not having this no more. And you're not touching me no more. You know what I mean? I know the mother could be nasty towards her. There's some posts apparently. The daughter put posts up on some site or something. Was it a Reddit site or something like that? She put a post up about her mother. And she said, I don't know if I should tell the teachers. And this post was put up literally about a week before she went, she got killed. Because she'd been off school for about a week. She was due back at school because she hadn't been well. Right? She's due back at school. 
And it was then, when she's going to go back to school, she's going to talk to someone at school about the abuse from her mother. Right? So did they find, did she say in a, 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 an adverb, that's it, I'm going to report you, I'm going to tell everyone what you've done to me, Mum. I'm going to tell them everything you've done to me. And him. And have you thought, oh. And it's all flew up then. So who killed her, we don't know. And we won't know until it all toxic comes back. Because if she was strangled, which I think she was, it'll either have the, the fingerprints around the neck. I don't think the mother could do it. Because strangulation is, um, unless it's come, done from behind. You know what I mean? Well, she strangled someone, it's face to face, aren't you? She's doing it, there are face to face ones. And what's in your life, the life, go out that person. Unless they do it from behind with a, some sort of cord or rope or something. Right? But as a mother, you're still going to watch your, the life of your daughter go. You know, if it was the mother, she needs the DP. He can't get the DP for the charges he's on. Because the law's only just coming this year. This January or February this year. The cases they are looking at happened last year and before. So he can't be at the DP for the charges he's got. But I think he wished the DP because the KNA, he, if he don't get the DP, he's going in the general population. And even if he doesn't and he's in isolation, they will get to him. I don't care what they say. If someone wants to get to someone, they will get to him. If you've got a lifer in there, right? He's in there for life. They can't do me no more. You know what I mean? It'll do it. But then again, you could have someone who's just in there for not paying some taxes or tax money or something. I think, you know what, I don't like people like that, I'll do it. I'll do it. So if they really want to get to him, maybe he's in isolation, whatever. They will get to him. So, oh God, the trials now. So that's really all. As I said, nothing new really comes out of the weekend. Nothing. Come Friday, if you don't hear nothing by the end of the day Friday, you're not going to hear nothing now till Monday, like tomorrow. So tomorrow is the day when you start hearing about what's happening with this case, what's happening with Sebastian, and then hopefully we'll hear something tomorrow about little Elijah Boo, who we are now going to talk about. So thank you for being with me, sticking with me on this. But I wasn't going to go through what that paperwork said. I really wasn't. Because it was royal. All right. Now, hang on. What's this? I like Sebastian. I'm not going to do Sebastian now. Right? Mm. I'm done, thank you. I'm going to have to put you in. Let's get that picture up there. Right. I really don't like having pictures of him on there. I really don't like seeing pictures of him with her, with a little magazine. I don't. Anyway, the next one is another case I've been following. A little Elijah Vu. And I've been following it from day one, from the first day he went missing. I did miss the court appearance last week, but to be honest with you, it wouldn't have been anything, it would have been about a five minute thing, if that. 
right? It wouldn't have been long. So I don't think they even aired it. I don't think there's any cameras there. Right? Now, little Elijah V went missing. What, four weeks ago now? Sebastian's been three weeks, so yeah, about four weeks now. Probably longer. Three years old. And his mother, sweet darling mother of the year, give me a bucket, only sent her three-year-old son to this person's house to teach him to be a man. She sent her three-year-old son to Jesse Van's house, our apartment, to teach him how to be a man. Three years old. Hmm. All right. Now, how Jesse Van can teach him to be a man, I don't know. Because he's not a man. He's not a man. Because a man would not treat a child like that. Would not. Alright. Hold on, I'm going to put some new pages up here. Because he was making a punishment, stand in the corner between one and three hours. Three year old, one and three hours. Uh, that's the most. No. Now, I can't even get my six year old to sit down for one to three hours. My six year old grandson, the longest time he'll, sit, he'll stay still, and even then he doesn't stay still, is when he's asleep. Believe me. He gets in my bed with me, and I might as well just say, you know what, I'm getting up. Because I get elbows, I get kicked, and I'm at the point where I'm literally on the edge of the bed. Friday night, I went to bed. He's come through, got in my bed. But okay, I don't mind. Hang up that, hang up this little for you, long. You know what I mean? Paint the mercy with I. And I woke up, and I'm so glad I have another blanket on top of my... I have one of these teddy bear, fleecy teddy bear, do they for us? And I love it. It's like being wrapped up in a big teddy bear. But I've also got this other fleece cover that goes over my bed. And it's a flipping good job I've got that. Because my grandson pinched all my bed and my bedding. So I just managed to pull this blanket and get that over me. Kept me warm. Now he's six years old, I, and actually the longest is, is quiet, but I won't say he's still, he's quiet, but he's not still. And they expected him to stand there for three hours, saying, I'm sorry, mummy, or saying a prayers, or reading these full rules that he has to learn, he should know. Right? What's that little boy sorry for? For being born to you, that mother. Right? All right. All right. I've got their pictures somewhere. I'll be down. Oh no, I'm looking in the wrong file. I'll tell. I'm looking in the wrong file. So I don't keep their files, their pictures in the same file as the little boys. No, 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 picture there. Hmm. That one, anything? No, I'll take those pictures. I swear to God, I know I've got pictures somewhere. I'm going to lose this. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
what's going on over there. You up on that table again, you're burning your tail. Oh god. I've got pictures of him somewhere and I can't find him now. No, I forget it. Forget it. I go wrong with Mama screen anyway. Right? Now this girl's little boy is doing nothing wrong. Nothing. And he was sent to the Jesse Bangers to teach him to be a man. He had an, he wasn't toilet trained. No, that's the mother's fault. She should have had him toilet trained. She, she should have been out and nappies at the age of three. Unless they've got some needs, special needs or something. Then by three, they should be going to the toilet. My granddaughter is what? Is she two now? Three. Three. Is it three? Mm. Oh, well. Mm. Now, I think she's three now. Oh, God, that's bad, isn't it? Right? And she goes to the toilet. The only time things she won't do is go on there for number two. Right? But we're getting her there. Right? We're getting her there. So during the day, unless we're going out to the shops or something like that, for a lot, where we know we're going to find hard to find the toilet, we will pull up a pull up on her. But otherwise, during the day, she just wears her pants and she'll tell us when she needs the toilet and we take her to the toilet. Right? But he wasn't even doing that, he's stealing nappies. Not pull ups, nappies. So Jesse Van was very good. Very good to him, will change his nappy once a day. And if he didn't obey him, do some, if he really didn't obey him and do what he wanted, he'd put him in a cold shower. Apparently, Jesse Van said he didn't like cold showers. I don't know why. I don't know why. You sick motherfucker. Right. Anyway, so they both arrested. He was arrested the same night that he was reported, that little boy was reported missing. And she was arrested literally about four hours later on um, charges of child neglect or something like that. So, um, those guys. So they've got them two locked up. Now, they said the little boy wouldn't get out the flat. I'm sorry, three years old. And unless she opened that door and left it wide open, which I can't see happening, because Jesse Van was a known member, club gang. You do not leave the old doors open because anyone can walk, just walk in. His doors were locked, then deadlocked, they bolted and then had a chain on. So how's a three-year-old getting out of that door? It's not. It's not happening. Anyway. So that was the report that had gone missing. So they've got the search parties out looking for him. And they find certain things like a shoe and some other items by a bean. So they do go and search the landfills where this rubbish is took. You know what I mean? They search that. Because of what they find around by the bin area, they went and doing a landfill there. But this little boy, after all these weeks, has still not been found. Now the rivers have been searched, and I'm sure if he was in the river, his body would have come up by now. And I've gone down that river, and I know rivers, because I'm from the UK, and we have a lot of people who like to go and commit suicide in rivers. We do. Um, or people who just fall into rivers because they've had one too many, things like that. So we have a lot of cases like that. So we read up about our rivers, and 
watching us. And this river was very bendy, very bendy. Had areas where a body could come washed up on, could get caught up on, areas where, you know what I mean, could catch up on a clothing or anything. So you'd think a body would get, a little body would have shown up by now. But it hasn't. The searches are going on still till this day. Every day they are out there searching and they're widening their search. You've got people coming onto Facebook on their page, discussion page. Have you tried looking in this area? Is anyone doing a search over in this area? If not, we can arrange something where we can do a search over here. You know what I mean? Anyway, they're thinking out of the box because people, some people are going, ah, oh, but that's way out the way. Why out? Nothing is why out. They could drove him anywhere because they're looking. Right? Obviously, someone will come forward and told them that between 2 and 9 p.m. on the Sunday before he went missing, or Monday, is it Monday? I can't remember when he went missing. Right, um, they borrowed their car and they had the car from 2 p.m. to seven, two to three, three, four, four, five, five, six, something like that, or nine, two till nine or two till seven, something like that. So they, they had the car, they've got the car in evidence, right, and um. I have got a photo of. Well, right, they've got the car, but they didn't have. Obviously, this car is an older car, right? Because otherwise, they'd be able to track where the car had been, right? So it obviously hasn't got a tracker on it. And Van would have known that. Right? Oh god, my cat's still moaning. Shut up! Anyway, so that I need people to come forward and tell them if they've seen this car anywhere. Between two, I think it was two and nine or two and seven on the day before the little boy was reported missing. Don't know if anyone has, but because we haven't had no updates. Right? The last update was where? Can't remember when the last update. No, why bother with two with his police? Oh don't see if there is an update. I did check earlier and there wasn't, but it's always too early. So let's see if there's any updates. March the 15th was the last one. All right. Take that there. I think I can share this. No, I won't. Not you. Not you. Yeah. Yeah, March the 15th was the last update. Why? Right. It says we continue our search efforts this week. Several large searches took place in wetlands and rural areas. The West Twin River and a search of a farm waste container. Thanks to the help from Maritime liquid waste transport case? Are you joking me? Searches included local and state law enforcement, fire, fire, firefighters and public safety college student volunteers. We followed up on numerous tips and leads and continued going through large amounts of video footage with DC, DCI and the FBI. Now, why is the FBI in on this? 
Hi. Anyway, it says Jessie Bank and Katrina Barr, the mother of the year, appeared in court on Thursday, March the 14th. Yeah. Barra waived her right to a preliminary hearing and has an upcoming arraignment hearing on Friday, March the 22nd. We will be, I will be watching out for that one. Right? Bank has not yet attained legal representation. I don't know why he hasn't retained legal representation because the lawyer, right, or wherever it is, as said, who deals with her case, Katrina Barry's case, said she he is um, eligible for their help. So unless somebody's come up where they've turned and said, oh no, you can't get our help, you've got to get your own. And he's having trouble getting one, I don't know. Anyway, so we haven't got any legal representation yet. So Vang's preliminary hearing is adjourned to Thursday, March the 21st. There's a bridge or plan for a large yard this Saturday, March the 16th at 6.30 p.m. Right? We are very grateful for the public continued support and volunteer search efforts. We warm up the normal temperatures this year and with outdoor activities increasing, we encourage continued safe searches because it is warmer weather. I've even noticed it in the UK. Right? If you do have any information, the tip line is 844-267-6648. You may also submit information via the Manitowoc County Wine Stoppers P3 app. They have posted the active Amber Alert for Elijah Vu, which is currently listed on the Clearing House for Missing and Exploited Children and Adults. Right. So this is such a shame about this little boy. Such a shame. Right, so, um, but there's still nothing. The people who know, the mother who knows, and Jessie Vang, her boyfriend, who knows, because it was said that she messaged him, right, telling him not to say anything, right? Tell us what, to tell the police what. Don't trust the police around the twisting. So, so they've got all that. They've got it on their records. They've got all their messages, everything. But this is this is more retrieval now. Unless someone has got it, because. They may have sold him. They may have sold him. You know what I mean? But I don't think so. Because there's rumour, there's rumour that apparently he was lying in the on the bed with a blindfold or tape, masking tape over his eyes or something like that. So that he couldn't see. And the mother Lovely piece of work she is. Took a photo of it. We think from now they was going to try and say he's being kidnapped and that they've received this photo. You know what I mean? This photo was sent to us, my son's been kidnapped. But I think something happened. I really do. I think something happened and he died. And they're covering it up. And I hope 
Yeah, yeah man. I hope they do get prison thing, prison within, uh, what's it called? Karma. Prison karma. Because on the charges they've got at the moment, they're looking at about, what, three years at the max? She's not, she's looking at a lot more. But he's looking at about three years at the max. On the charges so far. That's why they need to, they need to work this out. Someone said, how can you uh, go for a murder charge without a body? If you've got the good evidence to prove that this little boy is dead, right, and you've got the evidence, some really strong evidence to prove he's dead, there's no proof of life or anything, then, and you say you've got a witness who steps forward, then yeah, they can. They did it with um, Adam Montgomery. Second degree murder. Because his, step, his wife at the time spoke out. But that evil car only spoke out because she wanted to save her own self. You know what I mean? She knew she was going down for a long stretch. So she said, if you drop these charges, do this, this, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. You know what I mean? So she didn't do it for the love of her. Uh, she didn't do it because she was betraying Adam, uh, the old thing. She did it for her own self-worth. She didn't want to get locked up in prison on these other charges. Right? So she thought, if I'm, go I'm not going down for this, I'm going to tell them what happened. And she did. And you know what? She did 18 months. 18 months and yet she was complicit to the murder she was there when the little girl died she helped undress the little girl she took that little girl in a bag from their home to his place of work she's seen him putting that baggy up in the loft in the ceiling i mean she's seen him taking that, that buggy down at the ceiling She's seen him take the body into the bathroom, compress the body down. She's seen all this and she gets 18 months. 18 months. So, yeah, they can get them for murder if they've got strong, strong evidence. But I don't know what evidence they've got to do. I really don't. I don't know if they've got any evidence. So, I don't know. I I haven't spent as much on this case, and I should, but mainly because they haven't been, we haven't had no information. You know what I mean? Like even the police reports are now one and far between. We're getting one a week at least. Well, one every couple of days. We're getting one a week at the moment from the police. It says a lot because it means they've got no, nothing else new to tell us. But we know that the mother and the boyfriend doing something. Because the mother's now on more, even more char charges of child neglect. Uh, even worse charges, actually. Hold on. No, can cancel. What am I doing? Um... I've got to give them a folder. I need to put them into my email. So I'll do that. And next time I talk, because her charges are a lot worse now. Because apparently, it's got it that uh, one night when she went over to his house, I believe it was the night she took the photo of a little boy, of Elijah, with his face, her uh, eyes covered and everything. Right, I believe it was that night where she left her six-year-old daughter with auti who's autistic or on the spectrum of autism or something like that, in a car, no heating for several hours in the freezing cold. And I got that off messages 
to find that out through messages, through mainstream messaging banks. You know what I mean? So they knew she left him up to um, serve for so many hours in the car, that little girl. So they've got her on charges for neglect of that little girl as well. Now, I want to know, where was child services and all this? Why wasn't they checking on these children? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. So, if anyone can give me, if anyone's got any ideas on this case, please, um, I'll give you the email, I'll put it in chat, because it is from my group, so I don't care if people, from people on your email me being nasty, then they be email me and be nasty. Um, I think I've got it on Twitter. All right, if I haven't, then I'll make sure I put it on Twitter for you. So if you've got any information that you think we could use, please email it. All right. All right, there's my email in there. It's in the chat. Right, and as I said, um, if you want Twitter, please think about joining us over here on on YouTube, didn't cost you anything, right? And you can join in with the chat, give us your opinions, what do you think? Do you think she should? Do you think, who was we talking about first? Do you think Sebastian's mother's got anything to do with this? Do you think the stepfather had? Do you think they both had? Or do you think it's just a step? Father. And do you think he just enticed that little black boy out the house without the mother knowing? He could have. You know what I mean? He could have enticed that little boy out. But there's two registered SOs. One in a road office next to his. I don't know which road. We not like to say what has. And one further down through the through the woods. So he's living living in it like a secluded little place. You know what I mean? That's our deal to grab a child and take him there, isn't he? And then you got poor Madeline Soto. Do you think the mother is complicit? With this, do you think she knew what was going on? Do you think she let this go on, turned to blind eye? You know what I mean? It's it's all vile if you think about it. Because the mother, if she knew about it, she could put a stop to it there and then. I don't care if someone says, ah, oh, but. She was scared of him. I don't care. So is your daughter. Stand up for him. Pull your big girl. Pants up and stand up to him. Or was she really scared to be? Did he put in the mother as well? Wouldn't surprise me. Mine. In Sebastian's case, the, the stepfather said the bird gun, um, what is it? Um, the large test to test, and they passed. Nothing's been said about that. Nothing's been released about that. It's only what people have asked him, and he's very vocal, vocal on some things. You ask uh, the stepfather, Sebastian's stepfather, certain questions, and he'll say, Oh, well, you need to get into the law enforcement about that. I can't answer that. 
right? And then, but then you ask him another question, and he, oh yeah, we found innocent, we're not, not me. And that. So, it's all, it's only what he wants to answer, I find. So he's very controlling as well. And all I was saying, and because of Elijah as well, all you single moms out there, please think about your children. Put them first before yourself. Even if it means being single for the rest of your fucking life. Do not just let any Tom, Dick, Harry flipping walk into your life and let them take control of it. Let them look after your kids. Oh, but he loves my kids. Yeah? Really? When you know maybe a few months? No. No. And anyone else, please, lock your doors and stay safe. Don't keep your doors open. Lock them. You don't know who's out there. You don't know who's living next door to you. For Christ's sake, you don't even know who you're sitting by on a bus. You don't. So watch your backs. Stay safe. And I'll be back tomorrow. Round about 8 o'clock again. Yeah, I've got to go now. I've got to go and have my medication. I've got to have my looping medication. You know, I've got to have my nighttime medication. So I've got to go. Anyway, so thank you everyone for being here tonight on Twitter. Thank you very much. And you on YouTube. Thank you very much. As I said, please come and join us on YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything. And you will be notified because I won't always be doing live streaming straight to Twitter. There'll be some cases where I might not, I think, no, I'll just do highlights on Twitter. You know what I mean? So if you join me on YouTube, you'll get to see A, the video first, before anyone else. Because the only people who see my videos at the moment are people who are sub subscribed or through Twitter. But as I said, um, I won't always be live streaming directly to Twitter. Okay? So come and join us. Join in with the chat. So, hope to see you all tomorrow. I don't know what am I talking about tomorrow. Oh no, you've got Sebastian. Still got a lot to cover, you see. I was just really updating over the weekend because I hadn't been on Saturday. So all the way, when I'm not on on the weekend, so much happens, comes out. Right? But you watch next weekend because I'm on, I can come on next weekend. Right? Nothing will happen. It'll be dead. But anyway, I'll probably be talking about... I'm not sure yet. I'll find out tomorrow, see what the highlights are in the morning. And then I'll put it up tomorrow. Okay? So it'll either be Sebastian or Madeline. One of them two. One of those two cases I'm going, well, even Elijah, one of those three cases that we've just spoke about today, anything could happen next week. Anything. We could find Elijah. We could find Sebastian, could be found alive and come back home. Or his stepfather could be arrested, or his mother could be arrested. Or Jennifer Soto, Madeline's mother. They could arrest, they could charge the stepfather, uh, the 
pedo, the pervert, whatever you want to call him. They could charge him and then also charge the mother. So anything could happen from tomorrow onwards. So hopefully, I'll see you all tomorrow. And as I said, if you've got anything, if you've got any information, any videos, because some people see videos on TikTok, I don't see these videos. I don't know why. But I'm not on TikTok a lot. I'm really not. Some people are. I'm just not one for TikTok. There is one one guy the one guy I like to follow. And he's yeah, I'll just say yeah. Leave it at that. But otherwise I'm not one for TikTok. So but a lot of people are and there's been a lot of news about uh mm, is it Sebastian's stepdad on there? And things like that. And Madeline's mother and people talk on there as well on tiktok so if you get any information through tiktok please email it me you can talk about it on here all right and hopefully i'll see more of you next week in the chat so come and join us and i'll see you then until then i say Hold on, I'll get myself ready. Until then, oh, before I go, please subscribe, hit the bell, comment and share. Thank you. See you all tomorrow. Good night. Oh, God, no. Hit the wrong button. Good night, everyone.